find the general solution of the given system. So here you are given dx dt equal this, dy dt equal this. First of all, you need to rewrite it. Put, you need to put it into a, a standard form, which is this x, vector x bar equals a matrix times vector x. This matrix is basically the leading coefficient of x, y, of dx dt, dy dt, okay? So you have negative 4, 2, negative 5 halves, 2, okay? Then you are going to find the determinant. Uh, you need to f have uh, you take a minus lambda i. What is a? A is this matrix, okay? And then you minus lambda i. Lambda i is i is the base matrix. So you take this matrix, subtract that base matrix. That gives you this one, right? And then you are going to find the determinant of a minus lambda i. That gives you negative four minus four times two minus two minus two times negative five halves. Okay, and then you distribute this out, simplify it down, you will get uh, lambda plus 3 times lambda minus 1, set it equal to 0, and then solve for lambda. I got lambda equals negative 3 and 1, so here's my eigenvalues. Now for each eigenvalue, I will get an eigenvector for it. Let's do it now. For the case of lambda 1 equals negative 3, okay, you can solve for uh, negative 3 first or 1 first, either negative 3 or 1, doesn't matter. So lambda, let's take a look at the case where lambda equals negative 3. Plug it into here. That gives you this matrix. Okay, so negative 4 minus negative 3. That gives you negative 1, 2, negative 5 halves, 2 minus negative 3, positive 5, and then you augment it with 0. Normally, you would reduce this down to a base matrix, but uh, I know that this will give me an infinite solution, so I don't have to. I don't want to waste time doing that. So let's take uh, this one and then solve for it. Solve for the solution. So I have negative k1 plus 2k2 equals zero. Then I solve for k1. That gives me 2k2 choose k2 equals one. That gives me k1 equals two. Okay. You can choose whatever lab value for k2 or k1, and then get the other, and then get the other, solve for the other value. But I like to solve for the value that I can give the standard value of one. Okay, all right. Doing this, I got the vector k for lambda equals negative three is two one. Now you're going to do the same thing for lambda equals one. Plug it into here. You will get another matrix, which is this matrix. Augmented with zero, all right. Again, if you simplify, reduce this down to a base matrix, you will get infinite solution. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this row for this one. I have negative five over two k one plus k two equals zero. All right, that means that k two equals five over two k one. All right. So if I choose k1 equal 2, I got k2 equals 5. The goal is because I don't like to have fractions, so that's why I let k1 equal 2. That simplifies the fraction here. You can choose whatever value for k1 or k2 and then solve for the other value. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right? That gives now that gives me k vector k2 equals 2, 5 for lambda equals 1. And then now your it comes to your final solution. Of the problem so because you have this thing you have this thing real eigenvalues which means you have uh, your solution will be written in this form okay so x bar x vector x equals c1 times k1 k1 is this one 2 1 e to the lambda 1 t lambda 1 t so e to the negative 3 t so here's my lambda 2 and then plus c2 c2 is constant c1 is constant vector k2 is 2 5 e to the lambda 2 t, lambda 2 is 1, so e to the t, okay? So your final solution is this one. You sh you must have c1 and c2 because this matrix depends on this c1. It could be something else as long as you have c1, so it can be uh, counteract because you can pull out the negative or the positive number fraction, whatever you like. It really depends on this one, like when you solve for the integral of a function and you have to add c at the end that's the main the uh, the main problem uh, that's the main thing for this one so here's solution by the way that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos 
Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.